Today we're in Quecha. There are over 300 families living here. These people live on the very edge of society. They've made these houses themselves from whatever they could find. The shoeboxes that we're delivering today have been made by school children in Romania and these families are probably the most in need of such a gift for Christmas. It's really, really exciting because we see the sparkle in their eyes and they're really, really grateful. Now that I have to give them and I see those people and their smiles and the happiness in their eyes, it was amazing. It's a very special idea. I did this uh, before, like two years ago. The first time I was very emotional. I do feel somehow sorry for them and I hope with these kind of gifts we can make their lives better. We've encouraged children here to do the same thing that children elsewhere have been doing all along for Eastern Europe. Uh, it's going really well. This is our eighth year that we've uh, come to this village to deliver shoeboxes made by Romanian school children. It's just so nice to see that we're taking part in the shoebox project in our own way. As we all know last year was very difficult and we didn't want to put anyone in harm's way so we didn't personally deliver shoeboxes to the elderly, we just allowed their staff to do that. This year now that it's possible to visit them, we're very happy that we were able to hand shoeboxes and to sing some carols for the old people here. They love it so much, they're very grateful for all the help that Life of Care offers them. They just want to say thank you and we want to say thank you as well to everyone who thought of an elderly person this year. We've made them very happy. This is another larger family who live on another side of town uh, where they're kind of isolated. They have five children now at home. Uh, we come every year to bring shoeboxes to them. These are the kinds of families that we are looking to help, especially families with young girls. They are the future mothers of our next generation, so we want them to be as educated as possible, as safe as possible. Um, even donating a shoebox lets them know that they are valuable and they deserve to live a happy childhood. This morning we came to deliver some shoeboxes to a family who lives right on the outskirts of Jimbolia. This family has five very young children who are in school or in playgroup. It's a very poor and sad situation and Blyset is doing everything they can to support these children. One of the girls who is 13 looks like a six-year-old and has the mental abilities of a five, six-year-old. Uh, she was born with physical and mental handicap and she has very big difficulties in learning and especially in speaking. And she was so happy today to receive some necklaces and it was such a delight seeing her face light up and especially seeing that they were actually alone at home when we arrived. The mother is away at some neighbor at the moment and all five little children were just sitting by themselves on this uh, wintry morning. So when we knocked on the door and told them that Christmas has come, it was just a wonderful surprise. Um, so thank you to everyone who uh, made a shoebox for a young child. Uh, you, were, you were part of this experience as well. Talita Kum children have just received their shoeboxes for 2021. They are so thrilled as they are every year to receive such gifts. It's such a simple thing. You may think it's just ordinary objects that everyone has access to, but it means so much more to these children and to their families. So thank you very much for thinking of the Talita Kum children this year. I can assure you that every gift has gone to a special cause, to someone in need and someone who is very appreciative of this gesture. A shoebox may not mean a lot in terms of uh, content, but I think that's a great bridge between two very different cultures. Thank you for the effort that went into this, the expense and generosity beyond mere things and materiality. I, I believe there's, there's a genuine love and concern and solidarity expressed in this way. So thank you once again and please continue to do it in the future as well. Merry Christmas everyone.